This is Giant Trader, and this is Midday Trading. Today we're going to take a look and see what natural gas is doing, what crude oil is doing, and then uh, the stock that's in play today is Tesla, T-S-L-A. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now you can see it's really doing a whole lot of nothing. However, we do have a series here of uh, higher lows and higher highs. That's always very, very good. Okay, but what we have to hear, what we want to watch. Now you can see where you, you put in that higher high today, uh, that, that 2.86. But what we had here is when you look at this uh, low right here, okay, so you're looking at um, uh, 2.76 here, and then we have uh, 2.76. Uh, six nine, and then we can come over to this candle here. You have two point six seven, and then we'd be looking at that candle right there at two point six three. If that's lost, we just come right to the left here, looking at two point six zero, and then we have here is we have a, a, a two point five seven, and then you have your two point four seven. Here is your basically your price channel and your two hundred day. Now we always want to be watching this here by Friday. Make sure that we hold that two point six six level. That's going to be very very key and that 2.51 level here. So that's just before we hit to that 200 SMA here. Uh, but right now, uh, we gotta really get back. If this wants to turn around goal, we gotta get back and close above this 21 day. So now you're sitting at 2.79, then we have your eight day sitting in pretty much the same thing, 2.79 uh, level again. If we can get above that, then we'll just look at today's high. You're looking at uh, uh, 2.86. Then we come over to the top of this candle here. You're looking at 2.92, 2.95. Then we go to your 3.0, uh, 3.09, 3.13, and, and so on. 3.15 is your big retest area. But right now, it just seems like we're jammed up right here around these uh, moving averages. We need some kind of a catalyst to get this, this bad boy running here is what you really need. Uh, we had that uh, contract roll, and now these charts here are uh, back into the August contract, which is good. So just watch this 8 SMA here. This is going to be very, very crucial by Friday. That really needs to hold up now. We come right down to that 50-day uh, very, very easy. Upside, you just want to watch this 21-day. And that eight simple moving average, we've got to get above that here to take this higher. Now you look at the MACD here. Well, that's still headed down here when you had that bearish cross. Okay, that's a sell signal that tells you it's going right down. Uh, this here is kind of a neutral situation. So there really isn't a whole lot going on. I didn't even scalp natural gas out there today. Uh, the spread on UNG was just too tight. You had 1845 and then 1879. That's just not worth my time. Same way with the KOLD, you had a spread of... Uh, Roughly uh, 4296 and 4413. Uh, there's just better stuff out there here, which I'm going to show you, like with that Tesla trade. Okay, let's take a look here at crude oil. Okay, here's crude oil. You have your minute chart and your five minute chart. Now, this has been an absolute awesome trade today. Okay, so so far out of the UCO and pre market and regular market here, I've already scalped out. Uh, one and three quarters points here so far. I'm trading 5,000 shares. So this is a really good trading day. And I'm right now I'm back into it and I have a, a stop loss at 33.12, okay? So this is just bouncing back and forth. I mean, just what a great scalping. See what we had here, you had a good, nice rise up. But then when we see this topping situation here, see this left shoulder, head, right shoulder, couldn't get through this, kind of a double top situation and then came right on down. However, when she came down again, Okay, we hit a low of 80.20 on the crude, and then we hit uh, a low here of 80.24. See that higher low, and then we had that green candle. That's your buy point, and take it right on up. Just beautiful here, okay? And then we had that double top that tells you you got to get out of that situation and then come right on down. Now, I'm just trading this long. I'm not scalping this short just for a long trade. Now we have a nice double bottom situation going here. So this was another good trade all the way up here to the top here. Now we gotta see what's gonna happen. I'm out right now, it's flat, but I'm looking for another trade. So this is actually just absolutely beautiful. So if you wanna scalp, that one minute is working really, really good today. Now your five minute here, pretty much the same thing, okay? So you had this double bottom situation. So now we gotta see where you're going. However, when you look at this five minute chart, you see that series of uh, uh, lower high situations here, okay? That's really not what you wanna see. So what you do is you just scalp this Take it on up and dump this, okay? That's what I do. When I see this, boom, gone. See this, boom, gone. Okay, I missed a little bit, so what? Okay, traded it again, traded it again. Three times here, awesome trading in the crew. Okay, let's take a look here on a uh, daily and a weekly. Okay, here we have your daily chart. Now, this is... Uh, this is what we had here today, okay? So we came in on down, we went down actually below that uh, 8SMA, which was a great 
buying opportunity. Okay, so that's what you got to look for. But she ran right on up here. We only made a high of uh, 81.63 in uh, pre-market. And then you, when you notice that we had a very bearish report on the um, uh, EIA report here today, and that's what sold it right on off. Okay, so. You know, when you see these uh, uh, EIA reports here, the API yesterday was kind of, uh, it was mixed. But today, you know what I'm saying? You got to trade those, okay? When you see these, uh, when you see that action, where you see a build going this time of the year, boom, you got to sell that and take an, and then take another trade. That's how you trade uh, a crude oil. So always look for any kind of information. EIA reports always out at 1030 on Wednesday, unless it's a holiday, and then it's out at Thursday at 11 p.m. But this was a really good trade. So, so far, yeah, we went down lower than that eight day, but so far we are right back above that eight day at 80.52 uh, here. We're sitting at 80.56 right now. So today's low, we got as low as, um, you got all the way down to 80.18 here. So this is your basically your sport line here. You're looking at 80.23. This is all holding it very nice here. Just nice sideways action. One, two, three, four, just five days of it. Now, again, if this is eight day is lost here on that closing basis, then we want to do is look right to that 100 day, that 79.77. Then we want to look here to this 200 day. Okay, you're sitting right there at uh, 79.56. And then you have your 50 day right below that at 79.42. If that's lost, Right there, 78.27, that is your target. That's where the crude is going to go. But right now, we're looking here very good. So as long as we can close above that eight day, this is looking good. What you don't want to do is have that price come below that eight day. Then you're fighting that thing all the way on down. Okay, so that's not good. Now, here on that weekly, so you got that tweezer back again. Okay, you don't really want to see that. But there's a lot of nice support here with the 21 SMA here, the 50 SMA here, and that 100 SMA sitting right below that. So we got to see exactly how this is going to shake out. But then again, this is only Wednesday. You've got two and a half days left for this here to maintain. Now, your eight days looking really good, curling right on up here. So as long as we can hold up above all this key leverage, we're looking really, really good. So watch this 8 SMA here. Now, I'm going to be looking here for another scalp. To maybe take this higher here by the end of the day, we got to see how it's all going to shake out. But I got three scalps in today, buck seventy-five in the pocket. Very, very happy with that. Okay, so you got eighty fifty-two. Make sure you just watch that. Now here on the upside, you want to watch this right here. This eighty sixty-two. That's going to be that was your neckline. And then again, we get above that, and we just follow these candles up here. Okay, so you got eighty eighty-five. You have uh, uh, eighty-one uh, uh, fifty-two, and then we come up here to that eighty-one seventy-nine. That's going to be very, very key. And then we have uh, uh, yesterday's high at that 81.90. Very, very nice. So right now, just trade this range until she breaks out. If, if it breaks out at the 81.90, well, then just look right to the left of the chart, okay? 81.99 right there, okay? 82.40, that's your resistance levels. Then you have 83.30. You have up here, you have uh, 83.91. And then you have 84.46. That's going to be a big boy because that's your price channel coming across, okay? So again, but you got to close above yesterday's high, that 81.90. That's going to be very, very key. And you have to maintain that 8 SMA here. Okay, let's take a look here at Tesla. Okay, this is Tesla here. Now I've been scalping this here, but not as much as NVIDIA. Now NVIDIA was a great trade. I scalped it yesterday, sold the right thing first thing in the morning. I already got uh, uh, two scalps there, uh, plus the first initial sell there on NVIDIA. Really good trade. Nice and wild, love it, okay? So we gotta figure, uh, uh, NVIDIA, the high, he had a 128.12, 122.60, but in the pre-market, he had over 129, which was boom, that was the selling point there, I know, NVIDIA. But let's just look here, what's going on with Tesla. Now, I pointed out this, this uh, double bottom situation. So when you look at this, you got a low of 167.41, and then we have a low right here, 167.75, okay? So what we have is this double bottom, a situation going on here okay this is what we got going on here, okay so that held and then ran right on up here then ran up to that price channel okay so 191.08 now you can see we're above that 119 uh, 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 191.08 very very cool now what is your next level well just look right to the left this is what we got going here okay so you're looking at 198.87 that's the target that you're gonna go to okay and then what we have is right here this 200 SMA is at 206.95 if you can get uh, above that, okay? Now, Tesla needs to close right here at that 191.08. If it doesn't, then we do, we start looking here at 184.90, and then we can look at 179.75, your 21 day, and you can come all the way down here, back down to your 174.76 here. But right, right now, this stock is in play. 
Uh, now we're just reading an article there where they think that they're going to miss their production again on the quarter. But this is all about coming out here in August uh, for that robo taxi. Okay, so that's only a little bit over a month away. You're looking at the robo taxi. You're going to see how that's all going to shake out. Uh, so this is what it is. You're you're basically you know uh, a Biden you know uh, Biden rumor sell the news kind of a situation. So just remember that. Now here on your uh, weekly chart, see you have to do is you have a high, lower high, lower high. That's never very very good here. But again, now we're holding that key eight SMA here. 179.54, and you're holding that 21 day, 178.21, very, very nice. So your next target, which is by basically the top of that candle, which is that 205.60, uh, okay? So just watch that price channel. That's what you're looking for, 205.60, which lines up pretty nice here with your 206.95, okay? But again, now above all that, we got that 100 day. You got 210 up there. You got your 50 SMA here. Uh, what are we looking at here? 211.90. And then you could come all the way up to your 200 day here, all the way up to 230.59. But we got to see how this is all going to shake out here for it because there's a lot of resistance, your 100 day, you know, your uh, uh, 50 day. And then we have this key 200 day. That's going to be a lot of resistance. But for today, what you do is just watch that 191.08. You need to close above. If you do, this is the next target right here. Okay. That's 198.87. And then we keep on rolling above here. We could come up in this area right here. You're looking at 205.30, which lines up pretty nice here with your 200 day at 206, and which lines up pretty nice here with this price channel right here, okay? So that's what you want to watch there on the upside. So if it keeps on running, as long as you can hold this key level, 191.08, uh, this is going to go higher, okay? Plenty of room RSI to run. Oh, it greens over your red. Very, very nice. Plenty of room. Plenty of room on your weekly RSI here, and this has a nice bullish cross. See how that? That's the buy signal, like green over red. This is looking, looks like it wants to go higher. Just watch that level because if that 191.08 uh, is lost on the closing basis, then you're going to come right back into this sideways action. Okay, I'll be back here um, after pit close, and we'll go a little bit in deeper on uh, crude oil and on natural gas. Now, if you're trading crude oil, trade the damn thing, okay? I mean, this is, uh, is going to be a good opportunity right here. I'm just looking for this here to take out uh, uh, about uh, 33.25. Then I'll be back long right into this thing again here and ride that bad boy right on up. Okay, thanks for watching.